Hello everyone and welcome to the official SWGT YouTube channel. My name is Sarusa. Today we're going to take a look at SWGT update 5.6.10. The first update today takes us over to various different drop down menus, but let's take a look at, let's say, Monster Search. So I was informed by a, a Discord member that I had missed um, some of the collaboration names on the drop downs for monsters on various bits of the platform. So I have gone through and touched every screen as far as I know uh, where the monster name is displayed, so now it is showing properly. While we're here, there was also an issue with Ken. He wasn't showing up for the Fire Shadow Claw. So I have gone through and made that fixed. And also while we're here, um, I'm not sure if everybody knows, but there's actually a bug with the new Light Cyborg. Um, technically, we already have a monster with, Lu with the name Lucia, um, or Lucia, however you say it. Uh, we have the Fire Pudding Princess, and so they added in Light Cyborg with the same name. So I did speak with my, with my CompTOS representative this week, and he did confirm that um, they are going to make a fix, and they definitely know about it. Uh, he did not give me a timeline on it, but there is a fix coming. Um, but unfortunately, that being said, I can't add the new units until that fix is done because it'll cause other issues. So uh, that is pending, and so hopefully they will get that fixed soon. All right, now taking a look at the next couple of lines on the update, under Account Analytics, if we go to Rune Details, I have done a complete overhaul of this feature, and you'll notice that uh, sets are no longer required. You'll also notice that the page is extremely fast. Um, and so now you can come through, I've added a multi-select on here. So you could say, show me all of my accuracy and blade and endure and so on and so forth. And you'll see that it, it's extremely fast. And you can see that all of your runes now are actually shown. Uh, I have gone through and added a new filter by suggestion on discord, uh, that you can actually set a minimum efficiency. So let's say, uh, if we take a look at my minimum efficiency right now, it's 82. I put, let's say I set it to 85. I press refresh button there, and you can see now that everything, all my runes are shown uh, that are over 85%. There's also a modifier here, so if you wanna change it to less than 85%, so these are, are possibly things that you might wanna just go through and sell, right? Because if, if the highest efficiency is in the 80s, right? Probably not the best runes um, that you are keeping, so uh, just a really nice feature there. While we're here, just a casual reminder that you can actually change the max efficiency to display to hero. So now we can actually flip this and say, okay, show me all my runes that are under 85% max hero. So, you know, even though I have, you know, spent quite a bunch of resources trying to gem and grind all of these, you know, these runes are still not really fantastic. So um, again, nice features now. Um, just to recap here real quick, uh, the filter for max efficiency for display now has, um, or it always had the, the the two options of showing either max hero or max legend, uh, but I did go through and add an operator and uh, and a number now, uh, so you can go through and tweak those settings. And then I also did go through and allow p players to select all of their runes, uh, so that way you know if you want to look at you know all th all three thousand of your runes, well hey, there you go. So I have three thousand six hundred and thirty two runes. So here's all of my runes and the maximum efficiencies that they are. So. Um, really nice update. Uh, the performance is actually fantastic. It was a lot of work having to deal with data tables and dealing with all of the changes necessary to make this thing performant was really quite a challenge. So I know I'm just probably bantering at this point, but just saying how much work it was. So uh, let's move on. The next update line takes us over to the account analytics area under monsters. And if we search for, let's say Siri, and we go to compare. So there was actually a bug um, for collaboration units. If you compared a collaboration unit because there's technically no unawakened form, the page would literally error out with a no pointer exception. So I, I have gone through and made a fix there. It's probably a feature that not a lot of people use, but I personally use it quite a bit. Switching over to a guild site, if we go under Labyrinth and we go to Battles, uh, you can see here that if we go into a battle, I've added a new tab now. So uh, I had somebody on Discord go ahead and ask me, you know, hey, it'd be great if I could add some notes to my labs the same way that I do to my Siege Battles. So if you could please add that, that feature, that'd be fantastic. So I have gone through and added it. Uh, if you know, you can add a note, test, you know, and, and there's your note. You can go and update it and you can, you can, you can remove it as well. So that functionality is there. Um, some people may or may not want it, it's up to you guys on, on how to use it. Uh, there is no limit on how many notes that you can have. So just another little feature update that somebody asked for. And that's it for today. I just wanted to say thank you to all the Patreon members who subscribe to SWGT and to all the people that constantly give feedback about the platform. Uh, you know, it, it's only through your support and efforts that SWGT is what it is today. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. We all make SWGT better together. And with that, don't forget to smash those like buttons and I'll see all of you on the battlefield.